So hello, my name is Alexander Borschel, and I'm speaking to you from the Arad Botanical Garden in Arad, Israel, in the Negev Desert. So what I'm going over today is another method uh, you can use to extract water. Um, the basic principle is you want a material at a certain angle to, with a certain amount of humidity to extract that water from the air. Now remember, I'm in the desert. I am, it doesn't look like it because of the work I've done here, and I've kind of made it look a bit like Virginia where I'm used to, but if you were to go, hmm, I would say 100 meters down that way, it all just breaks off. You can even see in the distance. It is desert. I just happened to build a swamp here. Um, and part of that is because I'm playing with moisture. That's what the research goes into. So now while that other device is small and works with miniaturization, this one is just your standard unit. But I, the reason that it's cool is you can do this at home. What I did is I work at a bakery, so when we ran out of saran wrap, I asked to borrow some, and they were like, yeah, sure, we got plenty. So let me take it home, and then I took it, and then I just wrapped it around the sign we have that has two poles. Uh, I, you pinch it at the top, and then you tie it, and then you just wrap it around. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that without me showing you it. Now, one thing I am not going into in this video is, after this has harvested the water, what you're going to do with it. So what I mean by that is, once this has this water on it, 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 you, you need to get it off it and have it go somewhere. So when it collects enough water, it needs to collect. So what I would actually recommend is, when you make this, you have some something at the bottom that can catch it, and then it'll run off to like maybe here, and then you can just attach like a little hose, and it'll bleed down into a bucket or the plant itself, you know, whatever you want. Now, as you can tell, this is working. And the reason I know that is, if you look at my hand, it's uh, very dry. And if you don't believe me, here I am... So there you go, bone dry. Now as you can see, this definitely has moisture on it, but because it's hard to get it with this crappy digital camera on my phone, as you can see, plenty of moisture. Now, we're not talking about a huge amount, but if this is doing this for a few hours on both sides, that's enough for at least a plant. Now, if you have just one, it's not going to produce a lot of water. That's not the goal. The goal is we would like to actually have it produce water for the garden in a way that allows it to prosper. Now, I set up about five of these units around the uh, garden. Um, the actual atmospheric... Bleh, I'm just trailing off now. I'll edit that up. So basically, how this works is you want a flat... Some, some kind of uh, material that, can, that allows water to form. Um, so even saran wrap will work, as you can tell. But there are much better materials. I have uh, a material I use for the greenhouse. That, that produces a lot higher yield of water than this. Um, the only other thing I would like to go into is, if you notice, this is on a hill. The inclination is about like this, which 40, about 40 degrees, 45 degrees is... I would say, for me, what I've noticed here, the best angle. You're going to need to take a look at your area and check out the humidity. Um, again, I'm working in a desert, and that kind of changes things for me, but in higher humidity areas, you could have a much higher yield. Um, thank you guys for watching, and it's been a pleasure.